need a new exhaust tip. Let me know down below. This one's rusted out. Well, that's about all you see of a Jeep Wrangler over the hood of a lifted power wagon. I tell you, it is so good to be back in the high life. Oh, I miss this truck. What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. It's been a long time. I apologize. And I was supposed to have a Jeep video, a really badass Jeep video I made, um, showing the progress of the budget build and uh, tons of updates on me getting the truck back. So I will address both of those with this. I'm glad to be back. Great to see you guys. And uh, very simple. I, uh, I had a pretty bad month of March. That's no secret, okay? truck was gone for a really long time it's a really expensive fix and uh, it's just a shame okay but it happened and it's back and I'm very glad to be back in this truck okay I missed it a lot and uh, I do have to say it's almost like getting a new truck uh, just for a little bit because you know I'm so used to driving minivans that rental <laughs> and uh, the Jeep and you know just different cars around so being back in this thing is pretty damn awesome, I do have to say. It's so big, it's so loud and fun. It's just crazy. It's it's so unique driving it compared to any other vehicle. Now I do have to apologize. She is a little dirty. I, I shined her up when I got her back. I've actually had her back for a while. And uh, would you believe that the last two days before today, it had actually snowed? Yes, it was snowing in April. There's salt on the roads, so. Obviously, truck looks like now I can't keep it clean uh, more than a day. So I don't know what kind of world we live in that it's April and it's snowing, but what can I do, right? But back to why I've been gone so long. So adding to the bad month of March and my bad luck lately, my editing software, which is Filmora Wondershare, I've had it for two years. I've had zero issues with it. It's been awesome. It does what I want it to. And uh, it's very pretty simple to use and uh, you know I, I've liked it so I spent about three hours editing an awesome Jeep video that I still want to upload and it will not convert it to an mp4 or WMV format which is what I need to upload it to YouTube so I'm not sure what that's all about I looked it up it seems like other people are having errors too. it's uh, version 8.1 I'm not sure what the deal is but that's kind of delaying me. I don't know what I did, but it worked. And then hopefully the Jeep video will come soon after, okay? I will be back full swing because the channel's still growing, guys. You guys are still commenting and I'm getting views. And we crossed over 4,000 subscribers, so I cannot thank you enough. That's so awesome. Let's get into the action. Basically, the first part, delay, because I'm having computer issues and I had truck issues, so. Now we're kind of back. Hopefully everything's getting pieced together again. So I want to show you guys, I never got to show you yet. I would have done all this stuff in March, but I've, everything got pushed back. So about two months ago, I took the plastic dip off the, off the grill, so it was back to chrome, and I wrapped it. Okay, I vinyl wrapped it. So I ordered 3M vinyl wrap off Amazon. I wrapped it myself, me and my cousin. He showed me a few pointers. He's kind of a rookie in the rap world as am I and uh, you know I think we did pretty damn good for our first time in two months the only issue is right here so see that it's peeling a little bit otherwise everywhere else otherwise everywhere else other than there which I didn't wrap I didn't have enough for so that's my fault but everywhere that was wrapped looks good okay and from far away looks real good 
okay. It was satin black, and I think it looks better than the uh, plastic dip ever looks. So I do suggest wrapping it if you take the time to learn how to do it. It's not that hard. And I will show my pointers when we do this. The rear bumper has got to be addressed. Look at this. I know guys, it's horrible. So I'm gonna vinyl wrap that in the same color as satin black and I will show you guys on video. So hopefully that will go well and I think it'll look a lot better. So that look for that to come, I gotta install something I got in mail time that has to do with this. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And I have a few other parts that we have to install. So we have a lot to catch up on guys. I'm just so glad to have this truck back again kind of exhaust tip should I get having a tip on there does change the sound it muffles it just very slightly but gives it a really cool tone okay having it just just a pipe like that definitely sounds loud and, and aggressive and I, and I dig it but uh, I would like to have a tip on there even just for the sake of it looking a little better you know so uh, oh. Guys, this is, I'm not joking on video. I hope a lot of you guys get to see this in person at car shows and meets or whatever. Um, this thing is really high. <laughs> and uh, taking a, about a month off from getting in it, damn, it is, it is very, very tall. You know what? I just love it, so. Little update for you. got 128 miles on it since I got it back and uh, it's running good um, it is still on a break-in period so I'm not gonna for about two or three hundred miles I'm not gonna really romp on it and uh, step on it too much so uh, we're taking it easy while we're kind of breaking in the new trans so anyway guys um, I'll have a video on more about kind of the repair and how much it costs and all that uh, in one of my videos coming up this week. Okay, so look for that one. The Jeep video would be really awesome. You need to check that out. It, it, it's awesome. Even if you're not here because of the Jeep, I think it's worth a watch. Uh, it's pretty amazing what we did to that Jeep for how cheap we did it. So that budget build breakdown will be coming up soon. And I want to also address, some of you have been asking if I had some videos taken down. Um, it was only one. One video was taken down. Everything else is there. And I took it down. Um, no one told me to take it down. I, to I took it down because I am an FCA employee. I do really like and respect my company. And I also run this channel documenting my life with the Power Wagon. You all know the trans went out. You all know I had not the best time with the dealer I took it to, okay? Now, <sighs> everyone runs into issues here and there. And it's been a great truck. And I strive to entertain you guys and provide positive, fun, informative content, okay? So I don't want any negative videos on my channel. Um, I wasn't happy with the way I portrayed myself in that video. Uh, I didn't blatantly say anything bad, but I still had a bad attitude that was pretty obvious in the video, and I don't want to bring that to the channel. I want to have fun, positive videos as I have had and will continue to have. And uh, if anything doesn't meet my criteria for being a good content, a good product for you guys, then, you know, I'm not going to upload it. So that's the reason I took it down. We're breaking this truck in. It's so good to be back in again. So tall, so loud. That Hemi sounds amazing. And uh, it's running like a top. So we got spring cleaning also to do. I'm going to really detail this thing. And uh, because we got some car show, car meet season coming up, guys. So I would love to see a lot of you guys, especially local, uh, if we can, you know, work something out this year. That's what I'm looking forward to. So, so anyway, guys, so glad to be back. Thank you for 4,000 subscribers. Let's go to five next. We're growing good. Everything's going awesome, guys. I'm going to recover from the BS I went through last month. Please throw a like on there if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And like always, guys, I'll catch you later.